Sam, I'd like you to put your hands in the box. All right. Good. So what I want you to do now is look at your left hand in the mirror. Okay. And while you're looking at the left hand in the mirror, before I tell you any uh, to do anything, where does it feel like your left hand is right now? About how far away from the center of the mirror? About a foot away from the mirror. About a foot away from the mirror. Okay. So now continue to look at your left hand or at the reflection of your left hand. And then what I want you to do is simultaneously tap the index finger of both hands. Okay. And now as you're doing this, what I want you to do is tell me what you experience is happening in your left hand right now. I feel like a movement toward the mirror, and now it feels like it's right on the other side of the mirror. Okay, so now you feel like your left hand is right next to the mirror. Okay, and that's not how it felt, say, a second after you started doing the tapping. No. Okay, so what's happening right here is that we've got this illusion we've created where there's a conflict between visual information and proprioceptive information. So with the visual information, what you have is that it looks like his hand is right next to the mirror. But proprioception, which is the sense of where his body is in space, is telling him that his hand is about a foot away from the mirror right now. And so now the brain's got this problem that it has to resolve. And the way it resolves it is by using the information from the two senses and how good the information is to resolve this problem. So right now, for instance, when it started, the information was saying first proprioception wins and I'm going to feel it's there. But once he does this coordinated tapping, which gives uh, visual and tactile information together, now it's saying the visual information is what's more important, vision wins, and then now he has the illusion where he feels like his hand is right next to the mirror. Now, Sam, I want you to go and look at your left hand right now. Okay, and clearly it's not anywhere close to where he feels like it is. And that's what we call the mirror box illusion.